how's everybody doing out there? It's me, Elric, your host, here back on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, bringing you a dual card unboxing of two brand new cards from the folks over at Asus. What am I talking about? I'm talking about these two cards you see right here. Now, these are two of Asus' latest cards. These are their Direct CU2 HD 7970 top cards. Now, these cards have all kinds of great features on them. A, their cooling is 20% cooler and 14 dB quieter than a generic Radeon HD 7970. These cards can actually be directly hot wired into your motherboard so that you can control all the voltage and everything right inside of the BIOS on your motherboard. We're gonna be doing that with the Rampage Extreme motherboard, the X79 edition. That's gonna be coming up. This thing also has Digi Plus VRM, which is basically 12 phase power conditioning. Helps the card run cooler, longer, just helps the card maintain a lot of stuff. If you wanna do overclocking, these guys have their own GPU tweak for that as well. So let's jump in now and let's take a look at these cards inside the box from the folks over at Asus. So like every unboxing, we start off with, you guys can see the boxes. There's two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and just move one off to the side. And I just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about some of the stuff that's on here. Now, these cards feature three gigabytes of GDR5 memory. They're PCI 3.0 ready. You guys all know I have your bridges around the corner. We talked about the Direct CU2. 20% cooler, 14 dB quieter. Now, if you read down here, it says Exus's exclusive Direct CU2 thermal solution, dual fan design, and six flattened copper heat pipes that contact the GPU directly for 20% cooler and 14 dB quieter than a generic Radeon HD7970. Now, this VGA hot wire, this is something that's gonna be really awesome. Like this is what I was talking about before. You can actually hotwire the video card onto the motherboard and use the BIOS of the motherboard to control all the stuff on the card as far as all the electrical components go. Then you get even superior overclocking by that direct control. Digi Plus VRM says right down here, acclaimed Digi Plus VRM with 12 phase super alloy power technology delivers precise digital power and enhanced durability for stable overclocking. Like I said before, it makes your card run for a lot longer. GPU tweak, and the back they just show this, which is all the connections on your rear IO, which we're gonna show you anyway. So go ahead and place these cards here. Begin the unboxing process. Take the caps by one by one. Now you guys, we're building a new system. This system is going to be called the Pit Viper. And the Pit Viper is going to contain two of these cards directly connected to the ASUS Rampage Extreme Motherboard. We're really looking forward to working with a friend of ours, Shannon Robb is an overclocker. He's gonna help us do some extreme things on this system. So go ahead, here's the top. Now, I do get a lot of questions from people all the time. They ask me, they're all, hey, why doesn't that card have this on it. Well, if you can see, I've never touched these cards before. These come directly from Asus. The bag's here. All this material in here is anti-static material. So go ahead and take this out. Right off the bat, you can see here's the Asus driver stuff. This has all the basic stuff in here. Your drivers, setup guide, that kind of stuff. I believe most people know what this is. Get this out of the way. Accessories. Got a bunch of accessories down here as well. Let's go ahead and just set those out on the table real quick. Let me just move the card out. Set these accessories down here. We've got an additional, it says a LN2 MOS heatsink. Designed for MOS cooling during LN2 overclocking. So with extreme overclocking, like those guys out there, like Fugger and those guys who do the LN2 overclocking, this is a part that you would use. I'm not gonna go that crazy because I actually wanna run the system, but this is really cool shit that Asus is including in the box. You've got two connectors right here. These are your Molex. We then have the DVI to HDMI display adapter. And then we have the Crossfire cable. All right, now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's actually pull the card out. Got the measuring tape here. Go ahead and pull the card out. And yes, there is nothing else inside the box. This is it. So I'm gonna start out, folks, by just setting the card face down the table as we begin some of the measurements. You guys can see this is a very large card. Not made for the meek in any way, 
but I totally dig this back protector on here that protects the card. That's really great stuff. So first measurement is 11 inches. So it's 11 inches long. We'll have it translated in centimeters and you guys can see that on the back. From top to bottom is four and three quarter inches. So we have four and three quarter inches is the height. And the last measurement is the width. And I can't see that, so I'll have to move it over here for myself to see it. But the width is about two and a quarter inches. So it's about two and a quarter inches thick. This card is really awesome, folks. Let's just begin the front. Dual fan technology. We also talked about the eight flattened heat pipes that are underneath all this, keeping the card running cool. Take a look at the bottom. Everything's covered when you get it from the card factory. A lot of you guys complain, you know, about getting any finger grease or anything, so I'm not gonna touch any of those components. Flip it around the top up here. You guys can see there are two fingers right here for your crossfire. So you could actually use four of these. Imagine that, four of these bad boys. You'd run into CPU bottlenecks anyways. Put this back on, flip it around, show you guys the rear I.O. Now, look at this rear I.O. I mean, this thing supports so many monitors. It'll support six monitors right out of the box. And that's actually really cool stuff to be able to support six monitors in Ifinity. And they do it off two DVI ports and four display ports. So, I mean, that's really it, folks. We have two of these cards. Here's card one. Just to show them both to you guys, I'll pull the other one out. So here are both the cards. I want you guys to be looking forward to these cards in my new Pit Viper system. Next week, I'll be running all of the standard tests in 1920 by 1080 for all you gamers out there who run at that resolution. Then I'll do 2560 by 1600. And I've got a really big surprise for you guys this week. I got this new HP monitor coming in. It's a 27 inch IPS monitor, 2560 by 1440 resolution. Now, this thing's gonna be pretty incredible and I'll have more testing for you guys next week. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the new DirectCU Top Card Tremezus HD 7970 flavor.